Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. So do you see where, uh, I guess they're going after Trump's organization, but not Trump himself? This is so, like... That shit is a whole circus. It, like, it's... like, like, <laughs> they're going after his name, almost, like, but they're not going after him. Yeah. The, mar- the mar- so mar- crazy, mar- like, this the is co- how you use the law and loopholes and all of these shits when you're at that fucking level you got to know how to like insulate yourself with the bullshit yeah and this is it like like and so in the media right now they're acting like yeah we're uh you know trump donald trump has been uh, guilty but no it's donald trump.org you know donald trump organization it's not him as the person it's him as a company that is being attacked and it's just not the same like it's just not the same like i'm like are they gonna so are they gonna uncover the classified documents from the raid or nah like i'm so sick of hearing his name in the headlines and what they gonna do and what charges they gonna bring forth and this that and the third ain't nothing (laughs) nothing it's, it's to me, I think I think at this point, to me, Trump is just a buzzword that you can put in a headline to keep people tuned in. But he ain't worrying about nothing. He playing golf over his wife, ex-wife. Roguish the Builder, the Buildmonger, said the genius of Ye is that he shows that one can use their social value almost like a stock. And he does so with not only blackness, but also celebrity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I'm just, that's what I, hey, shout out to I hear you. Roguish shout, the build I, monger. I, thank you for your, thank you for uh, your don't kill the message. I'm just reading. <laughs> thank, thank you for your contributions. I'm, I'm just I'm, reading. I'm sorry. I, I can't drink <laughs> the Kool-Aid no more. I just, survey I, said, I can't, I can't, I just, I can't. Yeah, love, love, love that college dropout album, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Shout out my man Smiley the Ghetto. I got an would, album coming. Would, with would have loved to, would have loved for you to produce a, a hip house album for me, but yeah, hip house album. Shout out Ashley Love Child. Thank you. We do house music over here in Jersey. Yeah, I heard. Chicago, Jersey's here. <laughs> Ashley Love Child. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so what do you think about that? Like, cause the average, the average person, I'm not even going to say black person. I'm going to just say the average person can't like use a corporate, like if you go after them, you're going after them. You know what I mean? Like if you get convicted of something, Godfrey, it's going to be you. It's not going to be Godfrey, you know, um, incorporated. Like, you know what I mean? Like white boy shit that some moves they can do. Not us, you know. They get us. Yeah. I get think us. it's. I think it's just a beautiful mind, peace, queen. Thank you. I think it's just information that you know the good old boys club yep. already yep. had, and is yep. in. Loophole. It's just. Yep. It's just generationally in place. You know, you have trust, and you have estates, and you're. You know, you're protected from certain things, and you know, we just. We just weren't really privy to that information until as of late. I mean, our parents, you know, what all our parents did was drill us in the head about how we needed to go to college and get a job to to have a good life. If, if I know when I was trying to tell my parents that I wanted to pursue music, it was like, huh? Yeah, okay, that's a cute hobby, but I'm going to need you to pay attention <laughs> to school. 
<laughs> but nowadays, you know, and I, and I was a hardcore video gamer. Like, fast forward to 2022, you know, if your kid says, if you if you see your kid is really good at video gaming, at one point, that was considered loser shit. But your kid can actually set make up some money off that wealth. shit right now. Yeah. Right. Not just make money, but really set up right. some generational wealth. So what? The times have changed. I mean, thank goodness, you know, j- a couple of a couple of things are questionable with Generation Z, but for the most part, they are learning at rapid speed how to uh, how to get to the bag, doing what they like to do. Yeah, but you know, that's positive in one aspect. But then I also see how this whole getting to the bag aspect has has turned, especially in the black community, a lot of us into fucking whores. And, you know, everybody wants to be a fucking porn star with a fucking OnlyFans. Lunell has an OnlyFans. I yep. saw that. Yeah. Lunell has an OnlyFans. <laughs> well, I mean, it's going to take it's going to take people to get knowledge of self uh, to to not want to compromise themselves morally in the quest of getting to the bag. But I think, you know, when and we this is get- where you see what I'm saying, that's where, how do we answer? Because, you know, in the quest to get the bag, a lot of the, a lot of the rules of getting the bag is there is no rules you see. And that's the fucking problem. The problem that, well, as long as you used to get to the bag, shit, it doesn't matter. Don't care what nobody says. I don't care. You do what you got to do. And that's the problem. There is no moral compass that says, fine, no, yeah, get to the bag. But there's certain lines that should not be drawn. We should not be creating a culture of everybody's a porn star now. And this is just acceptable. Like I was watching Love and Hip Hop, they had your boy uh, Safari up there. Oh no, oh no, it wasn't Love and Hip Hop. It was the, uh, it was Black Ink Crew, and then the dude Vagina Slayer. <laughs> His name is Vagina Slayer, uh, and he's now doing the OnlyFans, and so they put him and uh, Safari together, and they did a little audition where girls came through. To try to work with them on OnlyFans. Wow. And, well, and girls is deep throating bananas on TV, even though they didn't show it, but you you know that's what they was doing. It was like, come on, yo. I will I will say this. I will say this. Even though that is the imagery and stuff that is getting shoved down our throats and in our face, I still think overall that is a small percentage of our people. Like I don't, I don't see that as just being right now. It is right I don't now. It is representative of all our people. I like I know. No, I know not way, all of us. I know way more kids in college than got OnlyFans right. pages. Right. That is a, that is a particular demographic that is that's just overly publicized, if you will. Yeah. JJ said OnlyFans simp's paying for porn and not pussy hustling backwards. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Mm-mm-mm. prostitution in the metaverse. I mean, all hey, all we can do is just preach the gospel and until we die, <laughs> or you know, right? As long as, as long as you know, as long as one person listens, then you know. <laughs> they can assume the mantle when I'm dead and gone. Mm-mm-mm. We're going to eventually dominate OnlyFans like we do. <laughs> Somebody said we're going to eventually dominate OnlyFans like we do the NBA. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I kind of see it going that way. Like it's crazy. Like, um, I would I would wonder what's the percentage of black people that's on OnlyFans doing porn shit as opposed to white people. I'm just curious. 
I'm just curious. Yeah, I, I don't like know. Like how many more of us are in financial positions where we'd find ourselves there quicker than other people? I I have no idea. Just curious. Um well, but yeah, this world's getting real crazy, man. I feel like it's really getting to the point of, you know, at some point you're just going to have to decide, do you want to go with the craziness or are you going to separate yourself and just people that don't want to fuck with crazy shit is just going to do them and then everybody else just do them. But That's let, me. I'm, let, I'm, let, let I'm, the people I'm, that are not <laughs> crazy just, but, but you got to let us be though. You can't come over here trying to imply your crazy shit into our shit. Like, like, no, no. What did I, what's over it? here, there's only he or her. There is no other pronouns. Like, like, well, you know, God and queen, maybe. Like, but there is no, all of that other shit y'all talking about, we don't do that over here. All of this, uh, Whatever the fuck that y'all is, all this immorals, we don't do that over here. Like, but y'all can do that over there. Like, like if that's the world you want to live in, cool. I'm just saying there's a lot of us that don't want to live in this fucking psychotic world that y'all are trying to create right now. And it's not just about, you know, gender and all of that shit it's about all, it's just about an insanity and a, just an insane way of thought but it's white Period. white gays white it's all white people that are causing all this weird shit it's all them white gays white tra it's all white folks no matter what their communities are it's them twisting up everything and avoiding what they need to solve is racist shit they don't want to they want to go. Let's let's pronouns. Let's find something else to try to be oppressed with. I'm like, your problem is your race shit, it's racism, and all the fucked up shit that you've institutionalized. But you want to do pronouns and silly shit. You know what I mean? And let's let kids. Let's let kids should be able to know about trans fucking food, weirdo shit because they're getting backed against the wall because people are like, yo, you got some shit you need to address. Well, what about the pronouns now? What about it's like they use the gay community, whites in the gay community, to start to skew a lot of shit. You know, especially when we're like, uh-oh, oh, reparations, they might be, uh, did you hear about California figuring out how much they would owe in reparations? Right. 500 something, eight, 500 something billion dollars. They did a mm. two year study. And that's and just California. Watch the gays mm -hmm. come in. Watch them come in right. and try to cock block that. Right, or try to get access to it. Well, you know, we was hurt during the Yeah. They're no gay slaves. I mean, it was buck breaking. They was raping. They was yeah, doing not, yeah. homosexual acts to black men. Well, they don't want to talk about that. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. White people doing this to black people. Yeah, of course. As a form of humiliation and taking someone's manhood and disrespecting and the them to the highest level is and what that race. meant. And then racism in the gay community, because gay people call people niggas. So white gays be calling people niggas all the time. So what about the black homosexuals, black trans people that are discriminated against? The Latin, you know, they they they're skipping all that. But even but even you know, even when it comes to like forget all that, just being able to to speak with a certain freedom. Yeah. Like that's been lost right now like 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 okay on december 4th 32nd anniversary of the one for all album brand newbie right, right. and i saw a comment and the shit was real. And, oh, oh it's a classic da, 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 da. and somebody said if that album came out today it would be banned it would be it would be uh censored or motherfuckers wouldn't even be able to play it like that and you got a whole lot of hip hop that's like that right i mean according I think, to yeah, today's standards but 
you have to no, understand we were living I think this generation i think this generation is just so far removed from civil rights and the black struggle period like they might be figuring it out a little bit but like the lines are so blurred like white kids are like trying to be like white kids or crazy little black kids and black kids or crazy little white kids like they're like the you know that the once upon a time there was pretty much kind of a like this is what you know this is what stereotypical black people do this is what stereotypical white people do like to me that shit is completely reversed like our black rappers are the rock stars with the crazy hair and the tight clothes and the white rappers are true and logic you know what I'm saying are right the underground and Your audio just got weird. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. Sound very like light or something. Yeah, like something happened. No, I think I think a call came in or a text came in. I was just thinking about that the other day. Like, remember when people used to make spoofs like the rapping Dalmatians was supposed to be like, okay, this is this parody of hip hop that we Yes. That that, that made it palatable palatable for like everyone else today that is like the culture and like the white kids are are now seemingly the aficionados of of real hip-hop like i've been said i've been said we are living in the revenge of the nerds okay do you remember in the revenge of the nerds they had a little old me lamar okay lamar was the black gay kid okay out of all of them and at one point he was rapping okay and this shit seemed so like far-fetched that a gay like a effeminate and the shit he was wearing and the way he was rapping all simple and like that that could ever even happen like that was supposed to be like <laughs> no way and fast forward the you know, that too. right so so now fast forward you got your boy uh you know little nas and all that type of shit it it, it it's crazy these are like self-fulfilling prophecies. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. But you would have never thought that that actually could really happen. Yeah. The rapping just... Dalmatians seem far-fetched. The rapping <laughs> Dalmatians. Right. But leave it up to the white folks. They are going to make it happen. <laughs> don't worry. He said, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to, it's coming. We're just giving you a little preview. It's coming. We're gonna have black gay dudes with a javelin, wobbling javelin. Remember when he threw the javelin? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh man, oh man." <laughs>